Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I come with a new video, a new look for you guys this holiday season. Something a little bit more subtle, pulled back and nothing too crazy. If you'd like to see how I recreated this look, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start off with my corrector. And the one that I use is from MAC and it's in the shade Peach Luster. And I'm just going to use that in the areas that I want to colour correct. And I'm doing this so that my foundation doesn't look ashy when I go to put it on. Using my Real Techniques buffer brush, I'm going to go with my Fix Plus. I'm going to spray it. And I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm going to go back in with my Fix Plus and I'm just going to spray that all over. And I'm just doing that just so that my um, I want my skin to look as fresh as it can because we are going to be using that foundation and powder but I don't want it to look like I have too much on and y'all already know I'm going to go with my favourite foundation which is the NARS All Day Luminous just grabbing my other prep and prime stick which is by MAC as well I'm going to use this one to highlight and this one is in the shade Bright Forecast blending this out as I would my NARS and this one is a lot brighter than the NARS just because for this look I wanted it to be really like bright and fresh and you know very like ah <gasps> you know like a like a breath of fresh air one thing people forget about like skin makeup is that it is really important if you're trying to get a certain look um so you kind of have to do adjust your products because if you keep using the same same thing over and over again and you want it to look different it's not gonna look different is it Cause it's you're using the same thing that I have all the time. And going in with my Tom Ford, my fave, the shade and illuminate, I'm gonna take the darker colour from this one this time, which is this one here. And I'm gonna pick it up straight with my brush this time. And I'm just gonna sketch out where I want it. Because I don't want the contours to be too harsh this time. And then with the Zoeva brush, which is the 231, I'm going to take that for my nose area. My skin is looking ridiculously like really, really dewy and really, really hydrated. So I'm going to go in and set all of that. And to set it, I'm going to use my good old trusty Laura Mercier powder. So we're going to go in and contour again using my favourite pa palette contour palette using the middle colour here okay, so now we're gonna set the only the highlighted areas yeah so usually I do go in with my minimalized powder and I just dust off what I've got on but today because we are having skin that's like <sighs> you know breathable I'm gonna go in with my NC42 powder now you can see how light that is yeah this is where things can go south so take your time with this I'm literally Dipping like that, tapping off the excess. And instead of dusting that powder, I'm setting it with the powder on because I want extra hold. And what that's doing is it's not only setting the under eyes, but it's bright, brightening, making it look brighter, like a lot brighter than it already is. Okay, so that's now all done. Now we're going to go in and set the rest of our face. And this is when we're going to grab our dark powder, well my dark powder anyway, and I'm just going to use that to kind of blend everything together, but not the way I usually do. I'm grabbing my normal powder, which is the dark mineralized, grabbing it on my 138 MAC brush, and I'm just going to set the areas that we haven't already set, and then the lid as well. So, Grabbing my blusher, I'm going to go in and use a nice pink one, so this one here, and this is in the shade mocha so i'm just concentrating the blusher onto this area here so mainly the apples of my cheeks and then for the eyes we're going to keep it again literally so simple i'm just going to whack this blusher on my eye i'm just going to buff that color onto the lid i'm going to take that same color and i'm just going to use it at the bottom there as well now I'm looking at it and I want my under eye area to be a little bit brighter, just a little bit brighter. So I'm going back in with my NC42 
and using my flat brush that I used to set my lid, doesn't matter. You can use a new brush if you want, but I don't really got time for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and then just pat that, just to further highlight that little inner corner here, just here. So for today's lashes, we're gonna use these ones, which are the Ardell Wispies, and I've got the multi-pack one, which is amazing, and I've still got two, so you can already see that I really run them out. Lashes are on, and I kind of just like to press them down sometimes like this, just so that they're nice and straight and they're not too curled over into my brow. I'm gonna go in with, again, the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate, and with the top color here, just to highlight. And for the highlight, I'm going to go in with a different one today. It's also by MAC Cosmetics and it's in the shade Show Gold. I mean, I mean, look at that. And for the lips, just to finish everything off, I'm going to go in with this right here by Inglot. I've been loving Inglot's lip products lately and it is in the AMC Lip Paint. And it's in this colour 51. The only thing that annoys me about this is they don't come with applicators, so you just literally have to twist it and open it like that. So it's a nice little pinky shade. I'm going to go in with my Well lip pencil. Just going to use it on the outside and on the inside just to make it a little bit more pinkier. So this is the finished look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I tried to make it as simple as possible for you guys to recreate um, as I could. Everything that I've used, I'll leave in the description box below, along with my social media handles. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and turn on my bell so you know when I upload a video next. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.